I should probably do an intro to this. Yeah, probably. Hello and welcome to the Water Bottle Podcast. I got three other water bottles in the vending machine today. I got Edgar. Hello. I got Logan. Been a minute. And I got Caleb. Hola. I'm your host, Bboat18. Let's get right into it. I feel like this is slave work because you refer to it as water bottles in a vending machine. I, th- yeah, th- I thought of this at work and I was like, oh, that's so good. Are you yeah, saying you were only worth like $2? Yeah, man. Uh, Did you want yeah, to be I- worth more? One fifty. No, I think that's pretty accurate. Okay. I am a $3 bottle of smart water. <laughs> bottle of F- Fiji. Fiji water. Does F- Fiji water go in a vending machine? No. Uh, or- no, no, way, no. It's too fucking the tall. I see in the vending machine is Dasani. Correct. So I was trying to find um, like Red Bull at the store like a week ago, and I didn't realize that Red Bull specifically don't get sold on the shelves. They get sold in a Red Bull refrigerator. That's like in the corner of the store. And I was like, what? I wasted 20 minutes of my life looking for a Red Bull. Wait, they don't have mm. it on the shelves? No, it's like in a specific, like it's next to the Coca-Cola or like Pepsi like fridge. It's like a Red Bull fridge. And I, then after I saw it in the store, I started seeing it everywhere. Like in the Walgreens and the, um, like every other fucking mm. store. I was like, why the fuck are these in their own fridge? You have noticed the magic Red Bull fridge. <laughs> every the Red Bull, now that you've <laughs> noticed them, they are everywhere. <laughs> I'm being cursed with Red Bull. <laughs> That's weird though. Why don't they put it like next to other products? They have to have their own specific yeah, fridge. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, is, yeah. I was about to say, I fucking hate anything like that of when you're looking for something you can't fucking find it but then when you don't need it anymore it's fucking everywhere yeah and i'm sitting here like why why is this the case why am i being forced to like isolate red bulls away from my shopping needs and go into the creepy corner where the fucking weird guy is drinking you, his coffee do you want the red bull you must go to like the, the fucking dark red bull corners. wizard is answer my riddles three <laughs> 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 the Red Bull machine grabs my hand as I'm trying to rid of me this Batman. <laughs> if you want our Red Bull, you must answer the question correctly. One tells truths, one always lies. Hey, fuck that riddle. <laughs> I, I I think that everyone's heard that riddle and everyone's immediately forgot the answer to the riddle. Yeah, I, yeah, I already don't remember. I've heard it so I many times. And I didn't just... participate when it came up in the D and D. I just said, I, I, rem- I remember the, I remember the answer. Wait, what, what, when did that come up in D&D? I remember it happening. It was fucking Naruto D&D. Oh. It was doing oh something. God, yeah. We were in, like, somewhere doing we it. We were in Orochimaru's cave. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, I was, like, one thing. of two people that opted to say, fuck this. I didn't even try and solve it. Dude, it was it was the first two riddles Edgar put into the game, and both two went so terribly. Not a single one went good. That's why I never introduced a single riddle ever again. He just and I didn't participate fighting. in fucking <laughs> any puzzle Edgar made. I just kind of was there for the ride, and like, ah, yeah. I remember when All you right. and fucking Brandon. Let me. I just. Let me. Like, hey, the don't whole say you and Brandon. I just followed Brandon. <laughs> I didn't participate in fucking anything. Don't, don't worry, guys. I figured out which one. <laughs> How to figure out the pattern? And I'm like, I, there was a whole house of like a whole city of houses, and I had the whole map. It was supposed to be a five minute quest, and these motherfuckers. It was supposed to be the next door over, and these motherfuckers decided to overthink the shit out of it and explore every house except for the actual one. They didn't wanted. overthink shit. I didn't it, think shit to begin with. Fair enough. You didn't think anything. You I don't remember the, my solution. It was, was... it was Connor that decided to go the opposite way and go house by house. And then I can't remember. No, it was me and Connor that decided to that wanted to go to the house that I found out. And then Brandon had his idea, and I'm like, I should go with Brandon so he's not alone. And and I just let Brandon go the entire time. (laughs) I I just I was with Brandon as he was puzzle, and I was just there. I wasn't helping at all. I was just like, yeah, man, that's you do you. It was supposed to be five minutes, and it was spent in a real-life whole set. We spent, like, two and a half hours doing that yeah, thing. Yeah, it was almost a whole fucking session for this yeah. one fucking puzzle. And, and for me, who wasn't even participating, I'm like, man, this is two hours of nothing. I was. I don't think I could have been more, fresh, like, flustered. Because I, I wanted to tell you guys, like, it's not worth it. But it was kind of fun, in hindsight. No. As someone who, like, I was in the same boat with Edgar, as, like, as someone that wasn't really participating, just kind of watching it, I had fun. 
I, I <laughs> wanted to introduce more puzzles like that, but I was scared to. Was Rightfully scared. so. <laughs> Rightfully yes. so, as we are creative men, and we'll take our own path. I'm creative in, like, making my character in the role-playing part, but if you want me to try and solve a fucking puzzle, I'm just gonna look at you and be like, no. And that, that's fair. You, you know, there's people for that. That's why you have a group. Yeah, that's why I had a party of geniuses. Exactly. Oh, I miss that D&D. I miss pretty killing my family. Actually. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you had a family. <laughs> yeah, the original well, Naruto D and D that we did was oh that hit different. That was real family. good. Combat had two families because other family did not want original dad. So have two to so have forty kids. And Fucking two Caleb wasn't accepted by two families. <laughs> Caleb was the edgy outcast, and you I know didn't what? have a family. And the only members I found, I killed. I never wanted Caleb to be the outcast, but when you roll so low on every social interaction possible, it just he lived turns in my into house. Cool. That's yeah. true. Reverse Mormon. We're homies. He was your dad. <laughs> I, 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 was the, I was pretty much the Naruto of the village and just lived by myself. And everyone's like, he was that kid. And the worst part is that Sasuke ended up being the Sasuke. Not Sasuke. I called. I referred to Caleb as Sasuke because he was so much like Sasuke that entire time. <laughs> and I became the Naruto. <laughs> Literally, exactly. Hmm. An exact clone. And, he, I, and I, I, I looked took Jiraiya like, from huh. Naruto. Except probably more evil. Caleb and I were the Naruto and Sasuke, but I kind of just let Caleb be evil because it benefited me. There you go. <laughs> I really liked when you guys were fighting the Jinjurkis and you went to ambush one of them and then it like backfired immensely. I or when Caleb character. and I tried to break into the warehouse to steal the clone jutsu and we ended up stealing a monkey. Yep. That was terrible. <laughs> so, even though I have a contract to make me friends with monkeys. The monkey didn't like me. And I rolled two nat fucking twenties. And that was your that was your monkey, dude. And he was mine. You know how hard it is to say I own a monkey? Well, actually probably not very hard. No, it's no, pretty easy. But... They could summon them. He could summon monkeys, but I had one natural monkey in the wild that was like, you hold me and left. <laughs> this is your monkey. And I never saw him again, and I was sad, but you know. He was there. Somewhere. He was there for that arc. It was a filler yeah. arc. And I had to change yeah, fucking right. masks because my I walked out the front door. Wait, what? I remember that. When we were sneaking through the fucking warehouse, I was looking or Caleb and I was split up to try and find something, and I was looking yeah. around and I went through a door, and it was the front door with the guards, and yeah. they saw my mask, and I immediately closed the door and went back in. And I had to change masks because it was now on the wanted posters. Oh yeah, I forgot. I remember like, uh, I really, like, honed in on what you guys were wearing. I tried to be, like, more RPG-like with that. It was it was actually pretty fun. I tried to keep it consistent. I ended up fucking it up real bad, but that's fine. Like, when me and Logan per devised the perfect strategy to save Gar's life. Yeah. And then you just fucking... I was, I was mad at you guys. I was more mad at you guys for paper bombings. I was, uh... <laughs> I really didn't like that. I really didn't like the fact that I had like this whole fight ready. And, and while and all of that was happening, I'm with my fucking cousin you created, stabbing him in the bushes, being like, why won't you die? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That was back when my character was weak as fuck. Yeah, same. Well, that was the entire time for your character. I was a <laughs> 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 I was Damn. Saying, the whole point was for everyone to be weak individually, but strong as a team. I, mean, I was no, never even way. useful in a team. I was just fast. Like that's all I had. I was, I was strong individually. I was fast. It could sometimes talk good. Fast and then there's times where I'm, and then there's times I'll walk up to guy, some guy, and be like, "What did you do, I kind of like that. Best it quote. Was funny. It was funny. It was pretty funny. I was pretty good at being a terrorist. That's about it. Yeah. I actually liked when you guys entered your terrorism stage. What do you mean, we? Uh, yeah, it was us as a team, right? No, I... I wasn't part of it, I just allowed it to happen. You essentially, uh, you basically tried to assassinate the president, okay? Yeah. I didn't try to assassinate shit. <laughs> I did assassinate shit. I yeah, you, you did. Yeah, so I'm saying I fucking tried, goddamn, but... <laughs> <laughs> But I was the mo- I also had the more, like, good people, and then I got put on the fucking leader of the team. Yeah, you did. You earned it. Didn't we- 
We, we murdered a guy and cut off his face. You, that was no you. we! You did that! There was, there, yeah, uh, that was absolutely zero team. That players. was all fucking you! And there I was more older stuff that, I think that, you guys no! no! No, everyone watched you. No one participated. Everyone went back to the wagon to continue on the adventure, and you were just sitting there doing your things that you do, you fucking freak. <laughs> okay. We'll say some of Caleb's murdering did benefit me. Like, he murdered the one guy, and I took his spot in the tournament. You, okay, yeah, you know what? That's just a friend being a friend. Which is also and still pretty fucked up. And then I got out of our team, I made it the second farthest, and I shouldn't even fucking been in the tournament. Yeah, I think I think you you won a, the fight against us, didn't you? You were the strongest I, between us four? Five? No, no, when we did the battle on becoming the leader of the team, I only won because Connor couldn't hit me and gave up. That's fair. Yeah, so I mean, but yeah, between... That means you were stronger than the other three. Well, you fucking put all of your chakra to one shot, Brandon, like a dick. <laughs> You're kind of a dick over that, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Times. I'll never forget. We'll never forget. So, one of us got one shotted, and I knocked myself out. Yeah. One shot you, okay? <laughs> but you one shot him by taking your own consciousness. Like, you. You're like, I'm gonna win this fight, but I'm gonna get guaranteed third place. <laughs> kind of fucked, bro. Kind of kind of, kind of. Mm. And I was doing like fucking baby tick damage with the goddamn tank, but the tank couldn't hit me. Yeah, that was just very unlucky. And then we went on, and then fucking Edgar tried really hard to make me useful again. He's like, here's Frost Egg God. I'm like, this is cool. I can't fucking hit it though. That, hey, that's not my fault. That is that is not that's that just is, RNG oriented. Dude, with how much you scaled fucking people in that? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I actually, I think I realized I scaled them too much because I don't think any of you guys were- <laughs> Like, we had to all fucking try really hard to hit. Yeah, we and... literally had to charge up two rolls to hit them. Yeah, prep and, time. <laughs> and then also, when everyone had to, like, time skip, like, coming of age fights, <laughs> we had, like, fight your, like, like, Elder the Clan or some shit, or yada yada. And then it goes to me, and Edgar's like, Fight the fucking five-tailed jerky, bitch. You did great. And that is segmented off as our D and D in a nutshell. Alrighty. Alright. I have a couple topics ish. Yeah. yeah. They're more like thinking questions than topics. Uh, I'm, I'm real bad at thinking, but I'll try my best. <laughs> I, I just brought this up earlier. Us combined is one brain cell. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, one thing is, did you know that Starbursts have more than four flavors? That's a lie. Like yeah. uh, the sour ones? Like any kind. I thought they only had four uh, flavors, like strawberry. Yeah, they, they had the more. cherry. Or yeah, they got cherry, like green apple. For oh, are you flipping? That's not real. The lemon mm -hmm. and then I forget the fourth. Is there three? How many are there? Or, like original. There's, what are they? Yellow, orange, red. Orange, that's it. And pink. Yeah, I didn't know that they made like blue raspberry. They got yeah. purple. Yeah, there's like this. There's like the smooth, the smoothie one. Mm. The sour one. I had like the, the combined shower. one where half of it was like blue and the other one half was like red. And it was fucking delicious. <laughs> Dog. Ah, oh, god damn it. There's a spicy one. What? No way. What? I don't know if there was actually. I just said that. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't just throw. <laughs> Throw shit out here. Non facts out here. Like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Bad joke. Good joke. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much went. Good job, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Everyone here's li listening. Listening. Supporting you. What am I saying? You're supporting me. No, no not anymore. <laughs> Caleb. Like a like a beam. House. Excuse me. Huh. Okay, let me let me see a different topic. Okay. Um, I have some stories. Mm. Okay, so in school, did you ever have the kid where there's not gonna be homework? It's like it's the end of the class period, right? And you're like, oh sweet, there's no homework, no homework tonight. All right. And then there's that one kid who raises their hand and asks the teacher, "Do we have homework tonight?" Worse than that is uh, when the teacher didn't collect work. And then that kid's like, oh, what about the homework you're supposed to collect? Oh, my oh God. yeah, that's worse. That's worse. I think both are worse. Honestly, they're like, 
because it's like, oh, sweet. I, way, so. I can go home and play video games and not have to worry about doing anything for tomorrow. And then there's that one idiot or one absolute nerd who doesn't get enough attention at home. Fucking nerd. He's like, hey, where's the homework, teacher? And the teacher's like, oh, thank you, my star student. Gives yeah. everyone out homework. Fucking dumb. Yeah, that is everyone should hate that kid. They, I think they do. Yeah. Everyone should beat up that kid. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Not fun times. No, never. Even though I never did my homework anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I never did it anyway. Like I did it if it was like important, but I didn't do it all. Yeah, yeah most I never, of the time I did not do homework ever. <laughs> homework, man. I hate the concept of homework. We used to, we sit there for what eight hours learning in like different class periods, different subjects. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to do it at home when we're there it's, for eight hours of the day every day for five just days? Just won't actually teach you anything when they're in class. Yeah, this could be a worksheet. You they say a lot of dumb shit and be like, do this, and it's like, I don't wanna. And and then we have no free time after school because they want us to do six different pieces of paper of schoolwork. And I'm like, nah, fuck this. I'm gonna go home, turn on my Xbox, play Grand Theft Auto. Exactly. Go home, get online, talk to the online homies, play some Halo, and then jerk off at, the, at night when I figured that, that was an option. The break of dawn. <laughs> 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 When the sun goes down, the cock whips out. <laughs> There's only cock waking you up at this time of day. <laughs> the only cock waking me up is my own. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors hear the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors hear something. It's like comes over to your house like, Hey, you got a chicken? No, I got my cock. Yeah, that's what I said. I got my cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. You're yeah. saying cock, but I'm saying cock. You wake Sorry up in the that. morning and you, you just screech like a rooster in the morning. God, I love it! <laughs> yeah. I like that the first thing I heard like, when I came back was, uh, you said cock and I said cock. <laughs> so, the topic before I went to cock <laughs> was uh, the kid that asks about homework when the teacher forgets, Edgar. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have that kid in any of your classes during school where they would just, the teacher would forget about giving out homework and then you're like, yes, no freaking homework. And then there's one kid raises his hand and like, oh, you forgot to give us the homework. Do you ever have that no. kid in class? No, I never had that kid in class. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's right. You were that kid. Oh. Edgar was the kid that fucking sat there and would talk to the teacher whenever they sent me off to do shit. And it's like, you know, he's not going to do anything, right? That is true. That, that's the type of fucking person Edgar is. And they didn't care? No. Ah, he'll do the work. And then Edgar then asked me after school, it's like, what do you do in the library? Oh, I play my Vita. You play Persona. Yeah. Persona 5. 4. 4. Persona 4. Okay, this one's kind of basic. I don't know why I put this down, but I said... What did you want to be when you grew up? Like, when you were a kid, what was the goal for life? What did you want to be? I don't fucking know. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't That's why I don't know why I wrote this one. Because it's like... Uh, uh, when I was younger, I wanted to make games. And then when I actually took a class on making it, I then learned, once you put the time and effort into making them, I don't want to fucking play them anymore. Very true. Mm. So I stopped. Because I'm like, I don't want to lose the thing I found fun. I'm sorry, come again. What did you want to be when you grew up, Edgar? Oh, when I, when I grew up, I really wanted to be um several things. First, I wanted to be a police officer. Then I thought that Everyone. was fucking stupid. Whenever you were a kid, it was always like police officer, fireman, astronaut. I want to be president. <laughs> never astronaut, never president. I, I want to be Obama. Gay professions. Uh, <laughs> I want to be Trump Obama. I want to be black. <laughs> <laughs> What I wanted to be when I grew up was growing up. I wanted to be an electrical engineer. What is that? That is oddly specific. It really was like very cool. oddly specific because I remember in I think sixth grade we, I watched a, it was like some presentation in a class about like some electrician engineering one of those weird things and I was like wow that looks cool I want to be that and that only lasted like a month and then I was like I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> That's really stupid. Um, yeah. When we had our, our senior night in high school and like the announcer says what college you're going to go to and what you want to become. I literally just made it up on like the day before. Like I put down, like I look, I Googled a random university for like aerodynamics and then I just put that on my card. They said that? Yeah, they said it. Yeah. No, like they didn't say quote unquote a random university. I like, Googled oh, yeah. one. Yeah. I won't go clown college. 
Write that no. down. When I grow up, I want to be a total fucking loser. You have to call me out like that. <laughs> Already succeeded. Eh. Damn. Also, when I was younger, I wanted to be um, a teacher for like a year or two. That was an awful idea. I can't tolerate anybody. Kids. I can't tolerate I myself. Sometimes I want to hit children. Sometimes uh, I do hit children. I just follow that urge. It's like, man, I really want to punch a kid. And I'll just go outside of the like park across my street. and just. <laughs> Sometimes I act like a child and then I punch myself because I hate kids. And I hate being childish. <laughs> so I hit myself. Child. Damn, I'm childish all the time, so I had the res put restraint there, or I'd be dead. <laughs> Just give yourself a big ol' smack right in the pussy. Just, what? What? Sir? You guys have any uh, anything to talk about? I don't want to talk about the Ukraine. It's personal. You know. <laughs> that's personal. It's, it's well, you very can personal. talk about the Ukraine. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know geographically where the Ukraine is. You don't, I don't even. It, it's next to Russia. Like what else? I don't, I don't what else would you need to know about that? No, I do not know where Russia is. The big, it's Eastern, the biggest. Eastern Europe. You know Asia? I, yeah, not I there. there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Actually, Asia and Europe. There you go. I was gonna say Russia's. Yeah, not technically Europe, but it is technically. I don't know. Is Russia in Asia? Russia's in uh, its own. Part like, of Asia, yeah. I was gonna say Russia's got because Russia borders like Mongolia and China, and also but uh, borders Europe. Not that I would know. I'm taking a trip to you know what Russia. Fucking geography was, dumbass. My knowledge of geography was Civ Rev, and that's it. Damn. Yeah, history didn't teach us anything. Civ Rev taught us everything. No, see, the thing is, history did teach us a lot of things. We just didn't pay attention to history class. I I pay attention to, to history. I didn't pay attention to fucking geography. Dude, it's pretty crazy. Every time we wake up and the game restarts, the planet Earth rearranges itself. It's like Civ Rev. Yeah, it's you know fucking well, it's wild. That's crazy. He's kind of right, you know. You guys agree that all history taught us was just a bunch of random white people? Oh, well, it's his story. Like, you don't it's get the li for war, you don't get the loser's perspective. Per yeah, we don't want to hear about some bitches that lost. I would, I would like to hear, um, not hear, sorry, I would like to read a history book for people who lost wars. That'd be interesting. Their yeah, side of things. Of, like, I bet it's just full of, like, economic collapse and propaganda. I feel like that would be in, like, there's history probably, books. books. We're in by Germany. There's, there's probably, like... I don't want to know I'm, about like, history. Sure, like, I'm pretty sure, like, some, like, Germany teachings leave out Hitler. I don't think so. I think Germany teaches that stuff very... They, they, they like, they, like, I'm they're not, like... They go, like, not really gloss over it. They go by it pretty fast. That's not a fond part of their history. I know it is illegal for them to talk about or bring up outside... Often. Like I would like to know the Japanese side of why they attacked the United States. You want to know why the Japanese attacked the United States? Well, they have, they've talked about that. Yeah, kind of. Or they, they've explained it, their position on it. I, I don't remember them. I might have learned they, it. Then just they claim that they were forced to go to with the United States because of the uh, what was it called the the alliance or the no the sanctions that were put on them by the United States. They were, yeah, they were kind of forced um, to re retaliate, or else we would have like bullied them into like nothing. And then we bombed them. Yeah, the nukes were unnecessary. Let's pretend that didn't happen. That, That's yeah, like our shameful history. Well, it's terrible. It was necessary to win the entire war as fast as we did to prevent <laughs> but, like millions of but deaths from Jews. They hit us with the biggest revenge plot no, ever no, no. and introduced was, anime titties. The the Holocaust and our, us bombing Japan unrelated. That you cannot correlate those together. Yeah, that was totally separate. That's a whole other world war. That, that was a whole other like that was a whole other front. Hit, like, yeah, Americans went over there to f help yes. fight, what, Britain? Or help with England or whatever? Who was president yeah. during the, the first bombing? Was it Eisenhower? He, maybe. I, I'm I not don't know. It. I'm gonna stand we learned it. all 50 presidents. How many presidents were there now? 53? Two? <laughs> I forget. Oh, we have 51? Biden's 57? No way it's been that many. <laughs> I Hold think on. it's 53. No, it's, it's like... No, no, no. Like, what number president is he? I'm not even gonna fucking add any inputs. I don't fucking know. Oh, my God. He's 46. Never mind. We didn't hit 50 yet? No, Trump's yeah, 45 genius. and Barack 44. Oh, my God. I would, I would assume the number of terms we've already passed through because yeah, like, a lot of people have had two terms. The only... Yeah, like, my only <laughs> thing is I... I didn't want to input it because I was like, I don't want to be stupid and wrong. But the only part I did know is we didn't hit 50 yet. Damn, hmm. fucking genius over here. I, I didn't know the exact number. Really easy to, um, all I know is that every like president is named John Adams. That's it. All I know is all the presidents have really fucking boring names up to a certain point. <laughs> you know, yeah, the first like 10 or 12 presidents had the most like basic names in the world. Like it felt like an auto generated. They, were, they all them. sounded like the same fucking person. <laughs> John, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. If you told Madden, me George Washington, was a president, George Washington, I would probably George. just go with it. Do you know John Madden died? Yes. Yeah. 
a while ago. No, he died last year, this year, one of the two. Definitely not this year. Definitely might have been this it year. Was... I think it was like 2020, my guy. No, it was no, actually pretty not. recent. Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was very recent, yeah. I think... Because I saw tweets about it like two months ago? This year, right? Am I, am I crazy? I think? I think he died this year. I'm looking it up. I think John Madden died this year. John Madden, John Madden. My <laughs> God. My God, that man died this year. He did not die this year. He died last year. December 28th, 2021. Bad. Fuck off. I told, you, I told you last year. He couldn't hold on a few more days. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bastard. Yeah, man, God, football icon. The, co the name of the fucking football game. Can't stay alive to prove me right for anything. Okay. <laughs> that that's where our problem is. It's not the fact he died, it's the fact he died a couple of days too early. Well, at, least okay. he, at least he celebrated okay. some Christmas and then died at the age of eighty five. Yeah, he, he had Christmas. He had his little Christmas dinner and opened up his present. What do you get an eighty five year old for Christmas? That's what he got for Christmas, huh? A working <laughs> liver. <laughs> <laughs> How did he what did he die? How did he die? What was the He's the old as fuck? Yeah. I mean, no one gave him his working liver. No, I don't know why I'm going with liver. Like, that's he died unexpectedly bad. Tuesday morning. That's what they usually say. But what was the cause was... of death? Um, unexpectedly. Read, yes. dummy. I just did, you. <laughs> and it said unexpectedly. That's the cause of death. That is not a cause of death. <laughs> No, you tell me you don't cause of death <laughs> should be should say natural John causes. Madden, John Madden, John Whenever Madden. it's unexpectedly, it's most likely you can assume fucker woke up dead. Well, you can be un unexpectedly shot, huh? Yeah, was he poisoned? Was unexpectedly. he unexpectedly? Who the fuck is trying did to he... poison Madden? <laughs> did he have a too big of a wank before bed and just died in his sleep? Who knows? Oh no. His Pizza Hut reward points were about to expire. Shut the fuck Shut up. up. <laughs> you, better get those. you better get that free pizza. He's dead. How would he get those? Exactly. Fucking god stupid. What if you just spend warranty? Ordered a pizza for a dead guy. When you get to the house, just pour the pizza on the floor and say this is for the homies. Like what? We gonna fucking like tip over a box? <laughs> yeah, slowly, slowly like tip out the box. Hold up, give me a sound I'm coming. And on the fifth day, God said, let there be a Tristan. On the fifth day, I was hoping for him to just show up right there. I mean, we can continue. Well, I have a couple more topics. Let's go for uh, Elden Ring. I heard Elden Ring was pretty good, dude. I've been playing it. It's sick. I'm loving it. Brad, how do you feel about Elden Ring? Elden Ring? Yeah. It's a Souls game. That's oh, ten out of ten. Much. I've been enjoying it, and uh, it's great. It's fantastic. I recommend everyone and their mother to buy it for dude. a beautiful looking game. Dude, the first boss that I fought in that game, dude, it, it absolutely destroyed me for like an entire day. Bad. Yeah, watch Two that. whole freaking days. <laughs> <laughs> Scream. <laughs> oh, shit. Boss. So, I saw it. And now oh, we need that? to be the six member. Jesus. The fuck up. That six member is God. It's finally Jupiter. unlocked. It's pronounced Jod. How's it going, Whippy Tongue? I'm so fucking low energy, bro. I'm so tired. Bro. Oh, no. you, when I, I fucking, I kid you not, I was laying in bed almost about to pass out. The good old Whippy Tongue, Red Bull, we're gonna chug it. He I, needs to solve I, Riddles 3. Oh, if yeah. I have yeah. to solve three of that Riddles first of all. First of all, if I drink a Red Bull, I feel like I'm gonna explode. Hot. Okay. Not that you. way. Five hour energy instead. I haven't had a five hour energy in years. Five hour energies don't do anything. They also what taste are those? like fucking ass. Are They're they just little caffeine bottles? It's just a pure, straight pure caffeine, caffeine shot. It's not pure caffeine. Vein. It's caffeine and sugar. It tastes like a little sugary drink. I wouldn't even. Don't compliment it like that. Straight it to the like ass. It definitely does taste like ass. Like so, what if you take more than one? Do you get like ten hours? Like it does a stack. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, the buff stack. I yeah. took it three at a time one time, and I just wanted to like experiment to Maybe see how. Yeah, fifteen it. hour buff, dude. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, got, I got fifteen hours with a buff in one hour and crashed. Bro, <laughs> my god, I damn. Was I, I feel so like my heart in one hour. But chug a five hour energy. Bro, I, I feel like five hundred feet per minute. Like. When I drink coffee, I feel like my heart's gonna explode. If I drink like more than more than like half a bottle of five hour energy, I feel like I'm gonna die. And then you harness death, come back, become one with it. 
What if I want to stay dead? Caffeine's what if I just want to chill with the ghosts? Yeah, it's all Bro, ghosts are scary. Yeah, I'll be one of them. I'll get to spook people. Do my ancestors proud. <laughs> be the white ghost. Jesus. Yeah. Ow. You guys ever have any uh wacky dreams? Nightmares? I told Logan about my wacky dream and nightmare the other day. Funny things that go what? bump in the night that happen to you? Bro, I had a dream that someone was trying to break into my house. Oh yeah. And awesome. uh <laughs> and uh like I was like they could see their arm like in the window, like trying to like open more, like grab the window handle to open it. And I was like Fuck this dude. And like I pulled his arm into the house up to his shoulder. And from his like there, I like decided to like bend it backwards and like break at the elbow. Oh. And so when the police finally showed up, I got in trouble. Because like you can't you can't confirm that he was trying to break into your house. So you're you're fine for like her harming him. You have to pay his hospital bill. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Fuck the police. And that was my dream. Yeah. Mm. I remember this. Yeah, no, it was an awful dream. Yeah. I was so mad. I thought I did a good thing, and I'm just trying to think of I've had any weird dreams. <laughs> the only re dream I remember having, like vividly, is uh, having <laughs> owning a restaurant, and then you guys were working there with me, and we all jacked each other off. But it was special <laughs> sauce coming right up. <laughs> no, but it was like in like you know how the crusty crab is, right? Oh it was in the style of the Krusty no, Krab. I like, I like working in the Krusty Krab. Look at that. That's the reference. That's the reference for working a fucking restaurant. We had fucking Caleb manning the cash register. We had me and Edgar working the like, the grill in the back. I don't remember what Tristan or Logan was doing, but... It was probably soliciting... Yeah. Look, <laughs> what the fuck? What? It's the abrupt tonal shift. Bro, I'm, <laughs> listen, it's going to be like this for the rest of the night. Excellent. I was probably doing cocaine in the back. You probably, you know, no, that you're seems about right. Even in the back, <laughs> Considering you've right snorted all kinds of fucking, shit before. Dude, I fucking, oh god. I still regret that night a little bit. Which oh, if Caleb snorts the fucking Sour Patch Kid power, I'll do it. Yeah, because you, you guys are you guys are homie. Tell the story. Are, guys are, guys I wasn't expecting fucking Caleb to do it. Tell the story. Did I do anything? It was like, hey. what year was that? Lo Logan, <laughs> you remember when <laughs> Caleb you tried to jump that trash can? You fell oh, on your fucking yeah, yeah. face. I was, I it was, was the there, funniest. Right? Oh wait, you were? <laughs> I, I was there. You, I was there. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, wasn't my, there. Oh my god, it was the funniest shit. I think that was the day, like. Out and like Edgar and I were on like Xbox together, just alone. Yeah, yeah that, that was an odd day. I think uh, it was the strangest day. That was, bro. Yeah, that was a strange day. But <laughs> was trying to, he was we'll trying that name out. to ask yes. out an individual. You can just say it. We'll just bleep it out. Yeah, I'll. I'll I don't know if I want, necessarily want to say it. It's That's just, fine. It, it, I, it's I just know awkward exactly to say now. Talking about. Yeah, we all we know. We all know who we're talking about. Yeah. It's just awkward to say. Yeah, Timothy Jones and Jack and Jill. Exactly. Went up the hill. And to fetch a pail. To... It was just this intersection in the group that just made everything so awkward. It was so funny. I remember that day vividly, but not for, like, most of the... Well, mostly for you jumping over the trash can, but I also remember I had a big burrito. You did have a big burrito. Okay. It was... Oh. I don't remember if it was good or not. Considering it was, it's a solid seven out of ten, I think. Was it's that the place? I, yes, it was. How the fuck do you remember locations. that? They moved locations this year, and their prices went up like six dollars. Jesus, I'm glad. I, that's like one place I probably will never go again. Honestly, yeah, I would go. Honestly, it's Jesus. yeah. I, I just remember Caleb falling over the trash can, uh, going into that restaurant, and then Having going to watch the theater alone. Yeah, and then going to the movie theater, and watching the Winter Soldier. Winter we Soldier. Winter. Is that where we watch Winter Soldier? Yeah, I think so. Right? Uh, maybe I don't. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it I, was that movie. It was some fucking Captain America movie. It was yeah. decent. I enjoyed it. I also honestly, we were like the only few people in there uh, besides like a couple in the front. So it was yeah. we were just having a good we time. We talked about the forbidden couple. Yeah, the group squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> For what, yeah, what my dad would call it, yeah, the group squeeze. That and was and truly the amount of the amount of times my dad has came into my room while we were on Xbox doing something with my broken headset. The amount of weird shit that I could not explain to my dad that he has heard from mostly Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, I, I am a meme. Like the time he walked in my room to talk to me and all he hears is Edgar in Minecraft going, Black sheep, black sheep. 
classic. Look at the black sheep. Out of context, I'm a meme. In context, I'm also a meme. I'm gonna open a shoe shop in your ass. Yeah, my dad used to say that a lot. What? What? Yeah, my dad, my dad would say that a lot. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. Isn't that from that '70s show? I think something like that. It was kind of just. I think it was just a saying from the time. Probably from the time. Shove my whole boot in your ass. Also, uh, just it was always funny. Like there was always something that whenever Caleb came over here, there was something that just didn't agree. Either being our bathroom ceiling. That's true. I'm too tall for the house. Back. Yeah, he, yeah, he is too tall for this house. And when that wasn't the issue, and we were mainly in the living room, which is fine. It was then the dog. Oh yeah, I'm too tall for your dog. <laughs> yeah, you're too tall for Spike. It scares the shit out of him. And there was Edgar scaring the shit out of him. I didn't mean to. <laughs> that that dog is a is is a big baby. Did I ever scare the dog? I don't remember. No. God damn it. He didn't like. You want to scare like, the dog? What the no. fuck? <laughs> I'm kidding. Because he didn't like all the people being there he didn't know, and then Edgar did like a short, quick jolt run at him, and he fucking dipped. Fucking oh, Jesus. Like I, was over, I was over there a bunch. He got used to you, and then whenever you stood up, he's like, ah! Yeah, he's about to be sick. Giant. <laughs> Turn into attack on If a man there. started, if a giant man started like running at me real fast, I'd be scared too. <laughs> I wasn't. Even, I just stood up. I didn't run at him. No, yeah, a bit like run, Edgar's even, perspective. Yeah, Edgar. <laughs> but also, the you're taller than Edgar. He doesn't so. know. Yeah. yeah, he just like he just did not like Caleb when he stood up. Yeah, I don't think that dog liked a lot of people. No, in, in Spike general. is Spike doesn't like a lot of people. But Spike also like from a young age was stuck in a, like before we adopted him, he was stuck in a very not great situation. He had to live in his original owners when he was a puppy. He had to live in the bathroom by himself because the owners had cats that would try to attack him. Oh, poor Spike. Editor, put so, a picture of Spike up on the screen. So when we got Spike Me? as a little puppy, like, he was finally seeing stuff that yeah, wasn't a good. bathroom. I was gonna say, why did you tell me to put a picture of Spike I on the screen? I said editor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> editing? <laughs> you said Edgar, and I was like, huh? Have you been drinking? No. no. So you know why I pulled you over? Concerning, no. Why? Hello, problem with you. have a nice officer. ass, that's why. Anyway, continue, Logan, if there was more to that. Yeah, it was just, yeah, when he was a small baby and he came to our house and he never really saw much outside of a bathroom. And he now grew up to uh, still not know where to fucking pee, but... Oh, I thought you were about to say he doesn't know where the fuck he is. <laughs> I, sometimes I don't think he does. <laughs> uh, I love Spike, but that dog is not the brightest. He's not all there. No, he's not. But he can get there. I don't think so. We've had him for like five dollars. We've had him for like five years, and he still doesn't know where to pee. If you donate uh, fifty that. cents a month, you can help this poor creature learn where to take creature. a piss. What the fuck? And there's Sassy. Sassy likes people because people give her attention. She's full attention. Actually, yeah, she she is Good dog. she is a attention whore of a dog. Editor, put Sassy on the screen. Yeah, Edgar, do it. Yeah, Edgar. Okay. E Edgar got a personal. <laughs> I, I hope if me and Tristan <laughs> edits this, I hope it like zigzags to like the middle when he did it. I will absolutely make sure that it is scuffed. <laughs> like, can you deep fry it? I yes, oh, I can do anything. Uh, All right, continue. But, the dog. I, was, I was just I was just saying that Edgar learned firsthand the amount of an attention whore Sassy is to get what she wants. She got whatever she wanted from me. It, she would like whenever Edgar stopped petting her, she would walk over to whoever else to get them to pet her, but then not break eye contact with Edgar. Yeah, she let me know. She let me know what I lost. <laughs> I just remember we were watching Split and she walked away from you to I think Caleb? Yeah. And then she was just looking at you get pet and then you just stop watching the movie just look at her just get the fuck back over here. She cucked me. <laughs> yeah, fun times. Now she's fucking old. She's 16. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, my doggie's oh, getting old too. She's four, 15, 14 this year? 15? I think. Mine's like about to be 11, I think. Oh, well, looks like we're all in for a, quite a bit of suffering soon. Yeah. No, dogs last forever. Yeah. <laughs>
Anyway, it's gonna be a hard time coming up soon. Anyway, <laughs> um, we can just drink our emotions away. It's fine. Take a shot of nice Dasani water now. Hmm. Yes, the golden piss yellow Dasani water that I have in my glass with two ice cubes. <laughs> my Baja Blast Dasani <laughs> water. Ah, uh, yes. Sounds New like invention Baja. from Dasani. Baja Dasani water. piss water. Um, I was at the beer. I was at um, the bar with my friend the other day, and uh, I told him, I was like, trust me, I used to be a bartender. Like, what well, do this, do this exactly. And so he got uh, the blue Mountain Dew. And then he had a shot of Fireball, and I told him just to mix them together. And he like he mixed them, and he like gagged a little bit. He's like, you know what? It's not that bad. And I tried it, and it tasted like it tasted like how a child's Nintendo DS screen would taste. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it tasted like a Nintendo. Well, not Nintendo. That's odd. Switch specific. Tastes like the, the battery acid from inside. Battery acid. <laughs> That is a topic on here, drinking stories. I don't have drinking stories. No. So I haven't drank in years. Yeah, we don't drink anyway. Same. <laughs> yeah, we're My biggest this. drinking story is already a video. If you want to watch it, link in the description. Actually, put a clip of it right here. Hold that boy up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really funny. All right. Is that a wow. picture of him vomiting or is it a picture of the video? No There's one has the... a picture of me vomiting. Thank okay, God. We can I wish. It. I really wish no. we had like a freeze frame of Logan mid vomit. <laughs> I really like, wish we didn't. Like a motion blurred photo of yeah, someone pulling Logan's hair while he's vomiting. I don't know why that reminded me of the <sighs> the news story of the guy. He's talking about the Xbox 360, and then he just vomits <laughs> in the <laughs> middle of it. Like like he's surprised by it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest video ever. We've added a DSP, and then we. Okay, I know exactly what we're talking about, and that's fucking hilarious. Fucking, I looked at our pins, and I saw the fucking guy that slips in his kitchen, and I fucking die of laughing again. Hold that's on, just still on. so fucking funny. Here, I'm gonna <laughs> I gotta go to now. I'm about to tap. <laughs> Where is it? Here, I'm just gonna repost it. There. This video gets me every fucking time now. Oh. Put like a split second clip of the dude just falling. <laughs> Put a clip of that right now. Beautiful. Damn, that's funny. <laughs> have you guys ever have any, like, spooky things happen while you're still awake? Like, uh, well, not really awake. You're half asleep, half awake. You're, in, like, no. in that one state, and then you see something, like, dark or spooky in your room. Because that's happened to me a few times. I've never had that. I'd be, like, I guess awake, but still asleep, and see this big old shadow sleep, man just uh, standing fucking, there. Uh, sleep paralysis? Yes. Yeah, I've never. So, sometimes I get really high and fall off the bed. I feel like if I saw a shadow in my room, I'd get up and fucking beat it up. Shadow people usually... are definitely a real thing. Yeah, I'm one of them. I mean, okay. Sometimes I sleep fine throughout the night. You guys the really worst don't have any experience me... like that. No, no. The worst thing that happens to me in the night is I wake up at like two in the morning, thirsty, and like fuck. Yeah, that's probably happened to me the most. I just I, yeah, I've up. never had sleep paralysis. I've had sleep paralysis one time, and it was awful. My sister's had it once, but other than that. Okay, have oh, you yeah. ever like in your own home had to like turn off the lights and then like be really dark, and then you would have to like run to your like room or something? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. When I was young. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, all the time. No, I still do that. I still do that in my own no, home too. No, when I was like when I was younger, I did that a lot. Now me, whenever now would, I like now whenever there's no one in the house or anything, I get hella paranoid. I'm like, did I lock the door? That's but mm -hmm. that's exactly the same. Nowadays, oh, yeah. just fucking walk around in the darkness, and like fucking coming in, mm -hmm. fucking. Yeah, we don't want to repeat you. of the guy walking through my front door. Wait, you said what? Wait, you know I what walked. Repeat it? of the guy walking through our front door. Oh okay. Oh yeah, you told me that did happen. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? Did I, ever, did I ever tell that story on the podcast? No, I haven't. No, no, you haven't. I don't think I've heard of this. Okay, th so this happened about three years ago, I would say. There was a time I was reading. So this is like I, I had nothing on in my room, no YouTube, nothing. I was just reading like a manga or something. And I was sitting on my bed reading, and then I hear yelling because on my window on my side of the house is rocks on the path, and I heard screaming and this guy like clearly someone running through the rocks. And I kind of looked up when I heard it, like, huh? 
weird and i went back to reading and then finally like i finished like my book or something or the chapter and i went downstairs to find out some man was because this man came from where caleb lived because he tried to steal a car from like, his neighbor's house wait like a truck it, it was uh it was he tried to steal the car that had like a kid in it oh my god you literally that happened outside my house Okay, yeah. so should yeah. I tell my story first? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. I remember, remember these North. stories. Okay. I was on. North. I remember this story too. I was on Skype with both you, and I heard both of them happen. I thought it was hilarious because five I... minutes later, I heard it from Logan's side. Okay, so there was this lady who was taking care of the property that lived next to my house. So this guy, while she's over, like taking care of the house, like looking through all the stuff, making sure that no pipes have burst and the lawn's taken care of, she leaves her baby in the truck while it's on with the keys <sighs> in the ignition so that there's air conditioning on the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she gets out of the truck and this dude comes running up and hops into the truck while she starts walking away. She sees him hop in the truck. She turn, runs back around and like tries to pull him out. So the guy runs into like a brick wall right next to the other neighbor's house. And mm -hmm. so after this happens, he runs into the wall. The truck's fucking totaled. He can't take it anywhere. And this lady's fighting off. He gets out and runs towards Logan's house, which is yeah. a block away. And then, okay, and then it gets, and then he runs over my dad, because um, from the back of our house, it's three stories. We have a garage built under, and he's at the sliding door for our garage, and he's smoking, and he sees this guy run in like the alleyway behind our house, and he starts running towards my dad with the open door, and he quickly slams the door and locks it. And then he runs and he hits the door and from what my dad said, yelled, fuck. And then he mm -hmm. runs around, which is where I heard him run through the rocks. And then he got to our front door and it wasn't locked because my mom, my brother, and a friend of the family were all in the living room. And he walks into the house and starts asking for water. And my brother and the friend of the family both get up and start walking towards him and like, not like getting up on him, but close to him, be like, you need to leave, get out and yada yada. And he the moment he exits the front door and he passes like our hedges to the like sidewalk in the street he immediately gets tackled by a cop no nope. huh. wow and uh, apparently he was high on something and was just like running around like insane that's what that is so crazy that story literally happened right next to my house like the house next to my house and then he ran all the way directly to logan's house right which is yeah. insane. what a coincidence like I, jesus I, I really like that logan is just reading and he said <laughs> oh, attempted robbery oh, okay <laughs> What's that noise? Said, Must have been right. the wind. Alright, shit's done. Dude, What's going on? No, because no, I heard nothing that happened downstairs. I heard, like, some loud talking from downstairs. But I was like, oh, they're probably, like, doing something. Because it was, like, a weekend. And, like, whenever all of them were together, they'd play, like, Wii or something. They'd play, like, golf or some fuck. And and just like I thought it was just like loud like banter from all of them. I'm like I'm gonna finish my book and go down like or chapter and go downstairs. And I finish it, go downstairs. I'm like my mom's like you didn't hear any of that. I'm like what? <laughs> and it's just like oh this guy just walked through the front door. I'm like excuse me what the fuck? I'm like, hmm. But oh yeah, it just opted to continue reading. <laughs> like, oh my god. And it was funny to me because I heard Caleb like talk about the commotion. He went outside and then. When uh, Caleb was coming back explaining it to me, then Logan disappeared. And then Logan comes back after 10 minutes and explains to us what happened. I'm like, huh, I'm on the safe side of the city. Yeah. It was like one <laughs> of the weirdest fucking thing. Like, it, like, not much, like, weird shit has happened. That is, like, one of the, like, if not the weirdest fucking thing that has happened mm -hmm. at my house. And you guys get all the exciting shit. I just get all the depressing shit. I get a bunch of car crashes. I, I kid you not. Like, both the neighbors that live on the sides of me. Just awful shit has happened. I don't know if I want to say it. You can say it. Yeah, I want to. Okay. Okay, so first of all, the neighbor on my right... Or no, my left. Oh, uh, whatever was raid. going on. They were... No, something was burning on their deck and my neighbor literally didn't notice. And the other one, I think their son shot themselves. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah, and Big of oof. course, my family is known as the, you know, the, the gossip group, we'll call it that. We were just trying to figure out what the fuck happened. That's that's sad. That is very it, sad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I said, depressing shit. Yeah, honestly. 
You guys get funny men running around through your funny houses. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I would call that. Funny. Funny men. Crazy men, maybe. All the it was crazy man. Stuff doesn't happen crazy. around here. All I have is like a fucking shitty ass junkie trailer off to my left. I tell the tra tell the trailer story because I drove past them the other day, and they're just sitting out there like smoking when I dropped you off. There's not really a story to this. It's just they're is fucking. There a trailer outside your house? There's a trailer like next door. No, it's just in the middle of the street. Oh my wait, there's really? like some trash people just living on the on this fucking because, trash street. people. So Yo, if there's a trailer, then that might. Oh my god, because I've seen so many fucking like parked cars and like i saw a big trailer that looked like it just had trash around it just sitting on like one of the roads that to like go to um no it's one of those like you have to get a truck to pull it kind of trailer oh, oh. yeah that's exactly what i'm talking about well there's could be different trailers well, but no, you're, you're thinking about an, a difference between an rv and a trailer a trailer yeah. you have to pull it an rv yeah. can drive itself so anyway it's like yeah that's trailer. next door to my house yeah. and the people over there are just waiting for the owner of the house that's in front of to die which i'm gonna assume is their grandmother what? or their mother or whatever because apparently the grandmother doesn't want them to live in the house so they're like oh okay let's just buy a trailer and put, like live in front of the house that's weird. Which Instead I'm of fairly you know, certain is illegal, I'm pretty sure you could call the police and have them tow that. But yeah, I would. I don't know why you wouldn't. And then call the police. they park their cars. Not even like I don't even know how to explain it. They're like diagonal with their like that back tires facing like they're in the middle of the street. Jesus, it's so. So they're stupid. blocking a road. Basically, yeah. I'm coming over. I would fucking them. just call the police and be like, "Hey, just some beat fucking." I was gonna say, we don't even gotta call the police, we just beat him up. Honestly, squad battle, let's go. <laughs> squad battle. <laughs> Alright, queue yes, up, guys, we... we're gonna drop in. <laughs> Alright, where are we dropping? Five on five. I don't think there's any loot, I don't think there's any loot there, but... We're going I mean, you could always yeah, find... It's free XP, dude. Honestly, it's kind of fucked up to think... Double XP weekends. something in there. <laughs> there's, you gotta get, uh, get your Mountain Dew and Doritos at double XP? Dude, I will absolutely... God damn Imagine it. getting beat to death with a bag of Doritos, how pathetic would that be? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where the ones with the Doritos? It, it depends. What kind of Doritos would they be? Nacho cheese, Cool Ranch? Would they be spicy? We're ta I'm spicy talking chili. like, you know how Doritos made like those weird, like big fat ones? Oh, no. Yeah. What? What are you talking about? Flash that yeah, on screen called, right now. I, they were called like Doritos Loaded or something. They were really fucking weird. I never had them, but I <laughs> just imagining. Have you guys had the Doritos, the Limon one? No. No. That shit's I the best. Had lemons. <laughs> That shit's gas. That shit's fire. That shit boss. That shit actually fire though. I would recommend a lot of chips I've never when you guys had. go to the store and you see green bag of Doritos, grab it. But besides the wacky people that live next door, stuff at work is even more wacky. <laughs> so when COVID is still strong and everyone was paranoid for no reason. Oh my god, I can't believe we don't have to wear masks anymore. Can you believe it? Wow. I it's can't been believe it almost died like a month ago. <laughs> Dude, I can't it. believe it's Everyone clap for Logan. He survived COVID. He, co he survived it. We're still not even sure if that was what that was. It could have just been a really bad cold. Let's pretend yeah. it was. Yeah. No, it's just, okay. Anyway, freaking. So this was a story from one of my coworkers because I don't work in the front of the store. I work in the back. And yeah. she was working at the cash register. And this homeless guy walks into the store. It's basically the first cash register on the left. He walks up to the counter, reaches around the counter, and grabs the bottle of cleaning supply that you use to spray the desk every time because it mm. is undoes the cap thing the spray huh. part and then takes a big swig of the bottle he drinks the bleach he, dr he, he drinks no the cleaning fluid yep not joking he said damn that hit the spot. <laughs> tastes like candy sweet like so, fruit that's actually the pfizer booster shot yeah if no. you don't if you don't get your oh, booster shot you just take a swig of cleaning supply i mean that's what our former president told us to do <laughs> and yeah, then he and then he put it down and then walked out of the store and that was it. I noticed that uh, bottles like Clorox are starting to promote themselves with kills COVID. I mean, no, they don't. No, kills no, people, I just bought, I just know, bought like... a bottle of Clorox and it just said on the cover it said kills COVID. And there's no oh, COVID yeah. if you're dead. I thought you said cures COVID. Yeah, <laughs> did, did you? <laughs> you know what? You got me there, Logan. Did you buy it because it had that on it? Yes, 100. percent It was the best marketing. <laughs> also. Marketing's yeah, go ahead. I have another. It's not a like crackhead story. It's more of a. I'm stalking the shelves with my product, and this, this guy grabs me, or not grabs me, but he like taps me on the shoulder, and he's like, "Hey, come to take a look at this real quick." And I'm like, "I don't know this guy. I'm just there." Yeah. I'm like, "Okay, he probably well, wants like a random guy. random guy, random customer at the store." All right. He taps me on the shoulder. He says, "Hey, come take a look at this." And I'm like, "All right." He probably wants like a price or like he wants mm -hmm. yeah. he wants to show me something normal to do. stuff. 
It's like yeah. a shell. More. It was not normal because he takes me over to this like antique phone, and on the phone it has like writing for like numbers and stuff. Huh? But instead of numbers, it had letters, and it one I he pointed at one of them, and it said "haha gay" on it. <laughs> and then he he points at it, and he's like "haha gay, you're gay." I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you got bamboozled. <laughs> I'm like, excuse, I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> and, he's like, and then like, it was funny, right? I'm like, yeah, man, sure. Sure. Where's the cameras? Because you just got pranked. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Ashton? <laughs> and again, that was it. He just walked away. I'm like, huh. Okay. People are strange. But it was yeah. kind of weird that this fucking phone had haha gay on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly pretty funny. Why'd you buy this phone? It says haha gay on it. That's probably a reason someone bought it. Probably. If someone did buy it. <laughs> I don't think it even got bought. I think it just got scrapped. Damn. Maybe it's because it had no the word one. gay on it. No one bought haha gay phone. <laughs> they said it. <laughs> Homophobic. So Caleb, everyone's wondering who you are right now. Tell, tell them, tell them, tell everyone that's watching at home a little about yourself. Why um. you're here. I'm here because I'm the best of the best. I've been training 24/7 for this, and he's my best friend. You don't stop until he's my you best top. friend. He's actually my worst friend. I hate Caleb more than anyone here. Okay, damn. That's a goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, favorite. you're my favorite, okay. Caleb. Edgar's friends Thank go you. by how much money they have. So he goes at the top. Yeah, you have you have, you have zero dollars. What are you talking about? What? That's me. Yeah, or is it like golf rules? <laughs> like. No yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, is there golf? The person with the least amount of money, your favorite. Are we talking about liquid assets? Or are we talking about? Bro, did you just hit your face on the table? What are you doing? What the dog doing? What are you? You just hit his face on the table. He like turned around really fast and hit his head. Oh. What are you doing, dude? What are you looking for? Food. Oh. Hey, your food. Crumb diddly umptious. Do you guys know food is good? Yeah. Food yeah. is good. Isn't it crazy to think that some states have deep fried butter? The best states have deep fried butter. Didn't we talk about oh, this yeah, last that's... night, Logan? Something to do with butter? Or was that the day uh, before yesterday? It was when we were watching wrestling. Yeah. We were talking about butter. I don't remember. Because you wanted more butter than peanut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peanuts. Oh. <laughs> I think you wanted more peanut than butter. That's what I was saying. So why is it? Why is peanut butter called peanut butter? Is there even any butter in butter? there? I feel like there must be. I don't like peanut butter. I'd rather have more butter than peanuts. That's that's. Fuck the you, this is exactly the fucking debate we were goddamn having while watching wrestling. Peanut, <laughs> <laughs> peanut. And then Edgar proceeded to say the f word. Sorry, that was really inappropriate. Future editor, when Edgar said the f word, put something funny there and said. No. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, future. Put a, put a monkey. Putting monkey slapping symbols together. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. That one's too old for this. Too, was too old. Too uh, stinky. Fourth of July. There was oh, yeah. three kids t posing around a fire. What? When I was walking home from X hey, house. Oh. <laughs> you want me to what? tell the story? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm still a tree. It's, yeah, it's pretty much that. that. It's just I was walking home from the 4th of July from my ex's house, and I turned the corner to my neighborhood, and there was just three kids T-posing by a fire. God, why couldn't that have been us? <laughs> and I was like, Can you take huh. a group picture of us all T-posing in front of a fire? I guess. I mean, yeah. If you want. want. Yeah. Yeah. Stopping us. A family photo. <laughs> Maybe we should all hang out once. That's yeah, 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 Tristan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You're the only one not there. I gave everyone their Christmas presents in February, and guess what? Guess who's I still have here, sitting on my floor waiting. The niggas. Uh, oh. <laughs> the fellas. The homies. The brother. Oh. The dude. The, the man. Guys. guys in Paris. The man I in Italy. Who was in Paris? Niggas. God damn it. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I wasn't expecting him to answer that fast. What you can't you can't just say who's in Paris without saying it. Homies in Paris. I mean, sure you'll get a couple funny looks from a couple of niggas, but you know. Bellas in Paris. Some guys in Paris. Ra rabbits in Paris. Raptor. What do you think? What do you Raptor. think? Kids Raptor. bought to change that song to. They did not cover that song. <laughs> no, I'm asking what oh. what if. Oh, I thought you what like it... were implying that they already had. I'm like. Dude, if they did, holy shit. GK Rex, they already did. And they acting gorillas. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> gorillas in Paris. 
bro. Gorillas in Paris. <laughs> oh my god. I that think that's good. worse. That's worse. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that is kind of worse, yeah. It's so funny you know, though. 13% of the population in Paris. At, at that point, you might as well just have the kids say <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what? Yeah, honestly, at that point, you might as well just have him say it. If we're gonna have him be calling them gorillas, it's like, yeah, we kind of. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. It could say monkeys. Future editor, put a gorilla hanging off the Alpha, alpha Tower. No, don't, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that. Put it, no, put the video of the gorilla jumping at the window trying to get at the people. Gorilla spinning like a Beyblade. He's a man. That's like, yeah. you know, yeah. man. What? Gorillas are weird. I just googled it, Brandon. Uh, heavy and long vehicles such as trucks, caravans, trailers, boats, and buses must not stop on a residential road or a commercial built-up area for longer than one hour. So they are illegal. Yeah, that's park. been there since like last year. So they are so illegal. Park. Yeah, call the uh, Impark, hmm. and they'll put, you put, start putting uh, tickets on them. Now, how do you get around this? You just don't pay the ticket. Or you could throw poop at their car. This is the same rule. <laughs> I thought about like doing that. Get the homies to all throw well, poop. If it get... <laughs> homie, if homie, poop homie throw throw. Party. I don't. If make they that. don't pay the tickets for like three weeks, or they get three tickets in a row, then they get towed. Oh. So you just have to call them. I'll write this down for later because I fucking hate seeing that trailer there. So you know what? I'll, I'll call delete. them. I'll call it so that way when they ask you, like, did you call them? So like, no, it wasn't me. And you'd be like, Perfect. well, it doesn't matter. It's not like they get mad at you. No, they probably would get No, they fucking hate our family. They Good. called the cops on my dad because he was mowing the lawn. Yeah, fucking no. I would definitely. If someone yeah, called the cops no. on me for that, yeah, I would dude. absolutely make their life hell. Yeah. yeah. Call them for Time to throw in. I'll give you. I'll, I'll put in their number. Yeah, give. We'll all, everyone put in the number at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors have rose up. I mean, you don't need multiple. All you need is to call them and they'll come out and look at it. I guess this is a conversation topic that I wrote down. Would it be gay to go back in time yes. and jerk yourself off? Yes. 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 That is okay, dude. Okay. I thought there would be more conversation to that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, there's not really much to say. This is but gay, it's your, bro. it's you. You're the one that's yeah, doing it. You gay. do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to hold my, I don't think that makes my past those cock. <laughs> it's like, okay. it might be another version of your own cock, but you're still touching another being's cock. Like, yeah. But it's, your, it's you, though. Yes, but it's still another being. But you've touched yourself many times. Yes, because that's my cock. <laughs> and it's also not your cock. Not another version of me's cock. No, it's you, though. I don't like I don't it. You guys are missing out on something there. Every day we change. If I want to touch my cock, I'm going to touch my own cock. Yeah, exactly. I hate this. <laughs> I fucking hate the picture you put in the Discord. That's creeping me out. I hate it. What picture is it? I'm not going to get mad if you delete it. I'm not. Put, I'm not, not going to delete it. I'm just saying it's I making me it. uncomfortable. And now Editor, the viewers will it, see it right put, now. Put this picture of full screen. Okay, put great. a jump scare noise when you do it. Okay, well. Oh god. Oh god. Can you put a happy face on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw. Put, like, on can you put that like, hand that comes at it? Voice. Comes out from you know. <laughs> the voice comes through the fucking screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I did for the fucking. Uh, like I did for that one episode. Yeah. yeah like episode. <laughs> oh god. All right, here's another Maybe. one. Are there more McDonald's in the world than libraries? No. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, I already well, know for I, a fact uh, it's I know more I, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, Caleb? I already know for a fact it's McDonald's. I've, I've heard this statistic before. Get wrecked. Well, you, okay. Couldn't let yeah, them debate about it, Caleb. Yeah, you had to just me. run in there and give them the it, answer. It's like, it's like My I'm man really run in, ran in there and said, I'm actually... I'm um, sorry, guys. <laughs> it's like, it's I'm like just an intellectual, like, and you guys aren't. It's I, like I that fucking that. stupid debate. It's like the fucking current stupid fucking debate on, like, TikTok and shit. It's like, is there more doors or wheels? <laughs> it's, 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 it's what? definitely more wheels. wheels. It's definitely, yeah, yeah like, definitely more wheels. Yeah. That's not even debatable. Like, uh, one of the best arguments people gave... Not even best arguments. fucking obvious as shit. Well, they're talking about it's like when we talk about how many wheels we have. We're also, taking the credit, how many fucking wheels like Lego makes a year? There you go. That does count as a wheel. Yep. Think about how many wheels. Because they make Arm rubber wheels that, like... that carry your mom. I'm just kidding. So also, every Caleb. Every car has four wheels. Every and but not every wheel. car has. Two, but not every car has four doors. Yeah, that's true. True. And every. Wait, bus... does a car door count as a door? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah it's a door. So, there's. But do we count gates? Are gates doors? I mean, um, even if we did, it wouldn't fucking change anything. Well, yeah, it wouldn't change anything. 
that's thousands, possibly millions of gates. I think there's more doors. Actually, you know yeah, what? Yeah, now think thinking about it, there's more, there's more yeah. doors so than you have like, wheels. But the, like, one think person's guess, argument was like, oh, what of an apartment? But most people's fucking office chairs have five wheels on them. And, oh, if, we're, and if we're counting yeah, gates, uh, think about it. Are we counting gatekeeping? Because I single-handedly keep that alone, alive. I gate keep, yeah. But how many yeah. doors are in a like a single house, though? I don't like people one, enjoy anime. A one-story right, house basically. has how many doors? A like, one-story house? Yeah. Has one door and zero wheels. Boom. Doors win. Shut the fuck that up. That doesn't make sense, but okay. I'm gonna say a one-story mm. house probably has like six doors. I need someone to actually like calculate. Oh, I'm like, I'm counting my my doors right now. Hold on. Wait, no. Pause the door. Oh, you're like inside. I think like, like inside outside. the house. It doesn't matter. Doors are doors. I don't so have inside my house. I have inside my house on the first floor. We have six. I don't have doors in my house. I have eight doors in my house. Because we have the front door. It's the screen door to the front door. Look at all these people with all their fucking doors. Wow. So and does that count bathroom. cabinet doors too? Yes. It's not really a door. It's a oh, door you a door. go through. Right? That's, so, no, yeah, you have to be wait, able to it's called a cabinet it. door. No, no, no. no it's called a cabinet. It's called a door. cabinet. No, which, no, you call the actual no, door to a cabinet, a cabinet door. No, Can I go through the cabinet door? Yeah, you could cross through the cabinet door. Yeah, oh, well, shit. Yeah. I guess it's a door. <laughs> At that point, a refrigerator's a door, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. There's so many doors. Also, what about cruise ships? But what? What? Zero wheel. No, no zero. Way. One wheel. One wheel. Captain's wheel. Many doors. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's wheel. Captain's. Uh, but it's probably. Again, I, but the one but thing I again, brought up is we have to also again. How many fucking wheels Lego makes a year? Which is also true. How many doors? They does make Lego millions. Make yeah. How many doors? To, how many doors does Lego make? How many fucking Lego sets have goddamn doors? <laughs> Shut up. A lot. He's got that. God, this is. You know how many doors are is... in the fucking Death Star? I hate this became an actual fucking This, this is retarded. This. <laughs> this I is can't believe it. Well, I'm like, about I this. brought this up as a joke to make fun of the people on social media having this argument, and it fucking no. became one. <laughs> it's I hate so, this. God, it's so. Like, I'm thinking about it right now. It's so fucking stupid. It does make you think. You know, can we it go could... back to stupid fucking debates of like, is this dress fucking blue or white? I never cared about that. Also, Caleb, you were wrong about the libraries at McDonald's. There are more public libraries than McDonald's in the United That's States. What I said, this man I said for the entire me. world. So I said, I, I doubt that. I'm I doubt looking that. that up too. In yeah, think, the think. world, would you rather have a gay son or a thought daughter? Well, what about Starbucks? Thought daughter, 100 percent thought daughter. That, that is another oh. one right here. Um. Again, there is more libraries than McDonald's. You're fucking lying. Bro. I'm not. Look it up. I mean, I already did. No, you didn't. I'm pretty sure yep. libraries... No, you didn't because you're reading the wrong facts, son. You're oh, he said you're reading the wrong facts. Wouldn't son. libraries have existed before McDonald's anyway? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. What are you talking well, about? The Library of Babylon counts as for 100. <laughs> they didn't get libraries until McDonald's showed up. You didn't hear about this. <laughs> Caleb, you have the worst fun facts. What the fuck are you talking about? You you're making a very bad impression for the, your first podcast appearance. Okay. Yeah. This might be your last, too. Terminate the oh loan contract. Terminate the loan contract. What is happening? Speaking of that, guys, Everton's no. getting relegated. <laughs> no, it. no, they're not. Shut up. No one cares about sports. Yeah. What's going sports on? Okay. Also, sports Logan, there are more public libraries than Starbucks in okay, the United I was States. Wondering. In the United States, damn. damn. How many yeah. libraries are in the world? More than 45,000 libraries in 84 countries. In Dog, I don't even think it'll be that fucking high of a number, to be honest. How many McDonald's are there? No one cares. I will look it up just for you. How many McDonald's listen, are in the world? Listen, we're not asking the real questions. Why isn't there a McDonald's and a library combined? This man's speaking oh facts. Oh my god. Why isn't there? You know why? Because they'd get why the books. They would get another... the books greasy. That's why. Well, you know From what? their dirty, grubby hands and you that think Americans that... have. And you think and you most think of Americans do can... that in their house? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, you think most Americans wash their hands? They don't. One in, uh, one in uh, three Americans don't wash their hands. Exactly. I'll be one of those Americans because I don't wash my hands when yeah. I'm at home. <laughs> I hate you guys. I, I, and when I'm at home, I don't. Except when yeah. I take a shit. I always wash my hands after that. Always wash my hands. Well, oh. I'll have you know when I'm in my house, grubby fingies, but I'm at your house, they're squeaky clean. <laughs> it, isn't that fucking True, funny though. how that mentality huh? works? <laughs> I love it. Also, yeah, Caleb, there's 37,000 McDonald's in the world. God damn, that's also a higher number than I expected. <laughs> Damn. There's 45,000 plus libraries. 
Mira, so, there you go. Wait, wait, that is closer than I was expecting. Wait, how much? What's the what's the number for McDonald's? Is thirty seven thousand. Uh -huh. And for libraries, forty five thousand. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot closer. That's Jeez. a lot closer. It than shouldn't I was be any more right, guys. Close. Now, is there more McDonald's employees or librarians? Oh, uh, it says here the know. chain employees more than one point seven million people for McDonald's. And how much do libraries employ? I need uh, that number now. That's probably going to yeah, be difficult to look up. Uh, I, I, how many people on average work at a library? Five. Five? Five whole people. Five whole that. decrepit old women. <laughs> You're looking for another book. Um, at work the other day, I had a lady offer me $8,000 to leave my girlfriend and date her. And I that's, uh, Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Ayo? Yes. Yeah, I said yes. Ex <laughs> no, what the fuck? But what do you what? have to be going through to make that offer? I don't know. She's probably dying. Well, yeah, I was about to say, if you're in the hospital, you're probably just YOLO in it, you know? YOLO. Okay, uh, please fuck years. me. So there's definitely way more employees employed by McDonald's than libraries. There's only 366,000 wow. for libraries That's, compared to that. the 1.7 mil. Libraries are gay. Right. Okay. There's uh, less than one library. Why would he be fucking library? ass? That's gay, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. What's the largest <laughs> animal? Elephant. Whale. Blue whale. Whale. No, oh. I, I got interrupted by Edgar's birth. Mm -mm. What's the largest animal you can uh, kill in hand to hand combat? Whale. Dog. I just <laughs> shove my hands in its gills. That's not going to kill it. They don't I have gills. Literally, That's the I'm a, I don't fuck, even think a I'm, whale wait, has gills. I, That's why I just said. The trick I'm question. Fucking literally earlier today, I was watching another podcast that asked the same fucking question. Um, wait, hey, don't, really? Yes. Uh oh. I got caught out. Right. <laughs> hey, it's like the same podcast. Right 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 right. No, it's fine. It's fine. Answer the question. What dog? Starting with Tristan. What? What's the largest animal you can kill in hand-to-hand -hand combat? I don't know. Probably an ostrich. Dude, you can't kill an yeah, ostrich. Ostriches, are fucking... ostriches won a war with people with guns. Oh, that's, you know that's, what? You're that, right. That's, that's emus. Emus, oh, emus are different. Oh, wait. No, that... No. But that's a bigger no, bird. Yeah. Okay. Emus are bigger than emus. Wait. Dude, I think... Ostriches are bigger than emus. Bro, have you seen ostriches that you snap into? Dude, I've seen ostriches. Those things are fucking scary, dude. I know. Have you seen people riding them? It looks fun as hell. Didn't we talk about the last podcast? I don't yeah, even remember. I don't even remember what the fuck was in the last podcast. So just or it was probably a video. Dude, ostriches are <laughs> It's fucking Donkey Kong Country's fault, bro. You have to catch the ostrich first, though. Yeah, um, it will be running away. I know. Okay, so seriously, what, what, what size animal do you guys think you could actually be in? Dog. A Yoshi? You're a small dog. You think you would take on a pit bull by yourself? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, okay. you probably could. I would lockjaw the pit bull myself. I can barely handle the fucking yeah. bulldog here in my home. Imagine, so imagine if, uh, Bitch is strong. Buddy had his bottom teeth. I do not think a single person here could take on oh, Buddy no. with his bottom teeth. I don't know. His, his bottom teeth would, I, I looked, I actually looked it up. I think dogs can, like, have, like, 12,000 pounds of pressure in, like, per inch I'll of lose light. an arm, but yeah. I'm winning. So you're the right kage. Yeah, I'll fucking, I might lose an arm, Damn but because, like, the other I was not, like watching, they were like the scenario was with just you, the animal, and like whatever the fuck fucking like lose an arm to stab it with a stick. Even I, even Tristan's dogs, because they're big freaking huskies. Again, yeah. I'm taking I'm, yeah. I'm taking I'll lose a fucking arm. I'm winning. He's taking he's not taking Bro, I've health, played bro. tug of war with those fuckers and they are strong. Yeah, dogs dogs be strong. So I played tug of war with fucking little bulldog. Fucking strong beast. Well, let me see. I could take on. I think the biggest dog I could take on is. But this is not just about dogs. It's any animal. Yeah, I could I'd take say... on a raccoon for sure. Ooh, raccoons yeah, they're scary. scary. They're just they're just trash pandas. Just yeah, you could. <laughs> I think I could take Imagine on you just fucking <laughs> full speed and punt it. Editor, put up the meme of the raccoon T posing with Halo music in the background. Okay. What the fuck meme are you talking about? I gotta I show. Know, hold on. I gotta. I gotta find it. I'm, he just like name dropped the most fucking up like random. It's, ass <laughs> it's so funny to me. Sorry. You know what's? You know what animals are fucking scary? What? Kangaroos. Why? Well, yeah, those things the are actually is fucking fun. ripped. Like, oh yeah, no, I'm never winning a fight even against like a child kangaroo. If that thing that kicks you, it will disembowel you. Yeah, yeah, honestly. That's why props to the man that fucking punched one. That was impressive. Honestly, probably to the all. guy that my dad was like. Honestly, if you're in Australia, you're probably like. You probably f eat one for breakfast, like the one. Yeah, guy. you're probably at a point where it's like everything wildlife here is trying to kill me, so I'm gonna fight back. Yeah. I'm gonna say for me, koala. 
The fucking animals are so goddamn high out of their mind, they're asleep most of the day. Yeah, easy fight. Easy fight, no diff. That's like, oh Wait, man, no, I can diff. take on a sloth. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> big gap. I fucking just grab it and suplex it on its brain. Right, no, hold on, better question. How many five-year-olds can you take on at once? 73. <laughs> That's how Damn, long that's that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> it's like you've done this before. <laughs> I have experience. How many Man's five man army? Yeah, they're persistent. Rolls? Kids are persistent. Yeah. Um, they have no fear. They can feel pain, which will deter them. However, they are unorganized. Yeah, they're not very organized. Throw they punches. They don't and come at you one at a time. Myself roundhouse kicking like no, not one at a time. Them. They just swarm you. They swarm. Yeah, it's a group. Yeah, like, it's like a zombie kind of thing. Well, yeah, if they're in a group, it's probably I'd harder say 10. to deal with. I want to say 10. I want to believe could probably... I could take on a classroom of 30, but I feel like if I made one mistake, I would die. Bro, you if they all like, tackled your two... legs and then your arms, God you're damn, this done. Is like, God, God, but you, you guys are not thinking of the proper method. You pick up one, and he is now your weapon. And yeah, that's, that's what right. I was just about to say. How heavy okay, are yeah, five-year-olds? Are like 67 pounds? Yeah, like so they are on average 45 pounds. That's pretty freaking heavy. Yeah. Just to wave around uneven weight like that. Okay, now, fuck. would you guys rather fight 30 rat-sized tigers or one tiger-sized rat? No, 30 rat-sized tigers, because one tiger-sized rat would fuck me up. Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely. It, those things got teeth, bro. You ever, play, you ever fight a rat in Dark Souls, Caleb? Come on now. Or a rat in literally any RPG in fucking existence? Yeah, it's Fucking much. scary as shit. And I die to him every time. Skeever. <laughs> Ferret. That's a, literally oh like, are you playing a good RPG <laughs> if it doesn't start you with fighting, like, rats or spiders? Editor, cut that out. Okay. Cut the dog out. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Editor, cut it back in. <laughs> in, out, and I just fluctuate. <laughs> I have one more work story than one story at a water park that happened to me a while ago, like when I was a kid. Which one do you want? guys want to hear first? Work. Work? Work. Okay. So, this isn't just like, I'm, this is, it's break time, right? I'm sitting there, I go up to break, and I'm just chilling. And my coworker comes up to me. I've never met the person before, okay, but I know they're a coworker. Like, never met them, never talked to them before. They come up to me and start talking to me about her. She had a their her neighbors had a fire next door and it burnt her wall, and she's all upset about it. Mm. And I'm just like, who are you? I don't know your name. To eat my lunch. Yeah, exactly. I'm just here eating my like taking a break, eating my snacks that I have. I'm like, I don't know who you are. I'm just like, yeah, that's too. That sucks. Who are you? <laughs> no, no introductions first. She's just yeah, like... no introductions first. Just my, my neighbor's house burned down, or my apartment wall, whatever. I don't, I don't, don't even. It was so fucking stupid. Sounds like it. It's like she had no one to talk to, so she talked to me, just trying to enjoy yeah. my lunch. That's sad. <laughs> That's stupid. Bitch. Doesn't tell me her name or anything, and then she walks away. I'm like, all right, yep. He's like, thank, thanks for sharing. Yeah, I guess. Awesome. Like, Did you have you talked to her since, or was that it? I think she quit a week later. I'm sorry. Mm. But yeah, never talk to her again after that. That fire is pretty great. Head. Yeah, fire and the fire spread. <laughs> it was a continuous fire through the yeah. wall. It seeped on through. While she was talking to me, it was burning her house. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, that that just that was a weird thing that happened at work. I'm like, I don't know who you are. Why are you talking to me? You don't even introduce yourself. I don't want to know who you are. Maybe there's an, an introduction first, that's better, but yeah, exactly. It's awkward. Maybe she just wanted some dick. No, some sympathy dick. <laughs> that's the pickup line. Sympathy my house dick. Is... <laughs> it's the pickup line. It's like, yo, my neighbor's house is on fire. Yeah. Hey, my neighbor's house burned down. Want to fuck? <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. Dude. <laughs> Hey, the wall can join. No, this was like a forty-year-old woman too. You want your dick to so, be on fire? Not even. That is not even. That doesn't sound comfortable. And that, yeah, what the fuck? What? Uh, when you chlamydia. say you want your dick to be on fire, it's like that sounds like you have chlamydia. That's exactly what it is. You want it or not? No. You say chlamydia. You want it or not? But I will take some of your syphilis. Three dollars. I, I love syphilis. Man, they went up in the syphilis market. Went up in prices. Dude, the syphilis economy is burning. Get it? Huh. Funny. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All the people listening don't get it, but it's okay. Editor, put in the funny crowd, or put in the funny badumtis, and then the person coughing. 
Give me the full house. Boo, Ooh. you suck. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Editor, put someone explaining syphilis. No. I want to put, like, <laughs> put that video of the black dude talking to the wall. No. Brandon, can you like, like, um, kind of like set up like a whiteboard in your room and do like a 30 second like whiteboard explanation of syphilis? I, I have to go buy a whiteboard. I mean, I can just draw on my wall, I guess. <laughs> You guys want to talk about anything that happened to you guys? Anything? Any any uh, topics? I saw some really big rats. And stuff. Hell yeah! In there where? Some big, in some... huh, nice name drop, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was like a five thousand mile trip. Yeah, it was great. Just say <laughs> say crack town. That's that's our dude. This is crack town. Oh what shit! What, then what's up with, what's across the water? Then what do we call crack that? Crack city. Oh, uh, you're well. We're technically the city. I was gonna say, city it's probably well. tent city. Let's be honest. Crack Tropolis. Crack, crack Tropolis, perfect. Crack Tropolis, I like uh, with the crack pussy. Hold on, do I have any topics on my notes? I have one topic on my note, in my notes on my computer here. Yeah. The Sonic movie is getting a second. Yeah, oh. it shows how fucking old that was. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> Didn't you have like Thanksgiving on your list or something? That was the last episode. Okay. How was your guys' Thanksgiving? Really nice in North Carolina. I don't remember. Uh, it but was it, just a day. I had a, a black people Thanksgiving, it was pretty cool. My Thanksgiving was okay. so sad. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. <laughs> what? What is happening? That, what? What mood whiplash? <laughs> that was like, a really funny thing. On Christmas. That's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, I love hey, seeing Christmas. nobody on Christmas and having presents uh, stay in my room for two, three. Oh my nights. God! Stop talking, guys. <laughs> you might Ooh, oh, you guys suck. Really? Why did I make Jesus you guys Christ. my friends? <laughs> yeah, I had a nigga Thanksgiving. Oh man, I was alone on Christmas. Oh, hold on, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> what is okay. happening? No, it's just <laughs> every Thanksgiving is like that for you, Tristan. I, I, I mean, what? Oh, my cheeks hurt. Oh, what it's is always, happening? It's always a nigga Thanksgiving when I'm around. But you're not around. That's the thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now y'all can j just like my absent father. This is why Where my holidays my are sad. Go? I'm going to get some milk. I am the milk. I can't wait to never come back when getting milk. I don't know if I want. I don't want milk from you, Logan. <laughs> you got a little milk. I don't want bro. no Logan milk. You got a little milk. <laughs> you got a fucking problem with my you milk. You're not called a little yeah, milk. Yeah, it's fucking chunky. <laughs> Logan's rapper name is not what? little. It's not little Dickie. It's <laughs> little Milky. <laughs> I thought, I thought I you were little dicky's copyright. No, I was instead of little dicky, little milky. Oh, what are you trying to say about Logan's dick? It's two thousand feet long. Oh my fucking god. Twenty thousand. Actually, I wrote it down. Hold on, I wrote that Did down you, so I didn't you forget. Write this down? I did. I, <laughs> you know, you know, it's like when parents write down uh, like the height thing. You know, it's like the official cock measurements for Logan. I don't yeah. want someone caught. Like, Fuck. I don't want someone measuring my cock. Yep. 2,000 feet long. Ladies. He's single. He's single. Uh, Get on that uh, fucking fire pole of a cock. Slide down it. Emergency Ayo. cock inbound. Ayo. Gobble it, swallow it. You could, you could tie it into a lasso. I don't do that. <laughs> Yes, bro, crazy. can you can bro. you believe that there's probably people out there in the world with curved dicks? Yes. Yeah, mine. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta you, it, bro. you got a problem with the that? Bent, the bent knob. No, oh, that's fine. Mine's in the shape of a Z. Mine's a question mark. Mine's a B. What does you it have? have space? Space? Yeah, does it? Have, it's just gonna say does it have a space? Yeah, bro. You what? have a part where it's just like a dot, no dick, and then curved dick. Exactly. You Don't you guys the, have that? You got that mag got magnetic this. implant. You got that Rayman dick. <laughs> that Rayman dick. What the fuck did you say? Oh, I said I really wanted to slap my microphone, but it's brand new, and I don't want it to end up like the old one. Slap your dick, dude. You think I won't? Do it. Slap your dick on the microphone. I like it, cut, G. What? Uh, my god. Uh, you just throw up your dick. Throw up my dick? Throw yeah. Yeah. It's like a Yoshi like tongue. Like, we're talking about, like, you throw up a dick, or you throw up your dick like a gang sign. Well, I mean, either one works. If you can yeah. if you can mold your penis into the blood sign, that's a talent. Flaccid? No problem. Erect? I wonder no if problem. I could crack my dick like a glow stick. <laughs> that is the biggest threat I've ever heard in my life. I wonder how- oh my god, I wonder how many, like, I wonder how many times that's happened. Could you do it? Is the question. What? What? 
Do you ask, would I do it? Would you do it? Practice. No. You definitely have the ability to do it. I know I have the ability to do it. Doesn't oh, mean yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and I'm gonna sit there and be like, I wonder if my dick goes. <laughs> you will have a curved knob. Which is like, it's like, oh, curved dick. Oh, I saved the Miranda story. Oh, my dick curves to the left. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the podcast always changes? Like, oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm so fucking out of it. I'm getting all my friends' cock rings. Uh, don't. I will absolutely throw it on my own dick and then use it because my i never <laughs> waste a homie's gift bro what if we all touch cock rings in the mood light wait hold on now <laughs> with the hey, yo. Kind of mood cock rings oh, mood my cock cock ring. my cock does that rings exist blue. i'm sad you what, if, blue cock ring? what if my cock ring's red what, what does that mean You're cock cock angry. Angry. <laughs> oh shit. you have an angry cock what if it's like brown though there's more cock talk in here than what I if want. It, did you say for the, what if the ring's brown? Yeah, it's a, it's a color changing one, so... I think, uh, I don't know what mood I mean, is brown. I was gonna say, that means you're hanging out with your a little too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's yeah, funny. True. I get it. Uh, Anal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Christian Erickson's the Shut up about your FIFAs. Yeah, you shut the fuck up. You know what? I will mention something that's not FIFA. Okay. Do it, I'll kiss you. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't do it, and I'll kiss you. Do you want to get kissed by more, huh? This is the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Just dudes kissing dudes. <laughs> Just dude kisser. Just a little homie loving, bro. <laughs> homie loving. A little cock touch here and there. All right. Always gotta kiss your homies goodnight. Yeah. Not real homies night, if girl. you don't. I see you tomorrow. And remember, if your fingers get dirty and you got your homie with you, they can clean them off. Oh, so that's dude. a free popsicle, dude. If my oh, homie my is God. eating Cheetos and he has Cheetos dust on his fingers, oh. you better believe. You God, better believe. Oh. I wanna... That ain't gay, bro. You say oh. no homo afterwards, but we're the gayest straight exactly. people ever. Hey, as long as. as... Your what balls are touched, and you don't say no homo. What? No one to touch your balls. What? I like that specifically. If the balls don't touch, touch my balls. What happens if your ball hair touches? I think it's it twined together. <laughs> yes, right. see if your ball hair gets entwined with, it, with your homie. It's, so that's fine as long as you get another homie to get it out unstuck with their tongue. <laughs> You're okay. What? what? Wow. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm I so respect. glad you're here, Caleb. <laughs> I respect the law. Caleb, you earned your spot on the podcast. Congratulations. I, Thank you. I just remember the day of the weird shit of the podcast was Sonic porn. I mean, that was... I don't remember any Sonic porn. So I'm, I'm glad there's been no cummies in this episode. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to record the word cum bass boost. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Make it distorted as fuck so it's really crunchy. I think I still have the yeah. audio of you just saying cum. I just really? email that to you. <laughs> Because remember, I had to make a song from you just saying cum. Oh, right. Hey, can we stop all the cum talk? This, this is getting cut out, don't worry. I'm getting, I'm getting really nah. self-conscious about my lack of cum. Did you drink a lot of Mountain make Dew? Because that, that theory doesn't exist. Or what? does it exist? Is it how Mountain Dew reduces your sperm count? I did not know that was Whoa. What? You never heard of that? No way. No. I know. I know of you. Uh, I'm a failure. I have a laptop over your on your lap. You said what? And then they're like scientifically proven that if you like sit there with like a laptop on your lap, the heat fucking we'll lowers your cum. Yeah. Store my nuts. Deep fries the cum. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Good old America, good old America, where we deep fry our cum. <laughs> what if that's at, like at a porn convention? We got deep fried cum over here. <laughs> yeah, I love porn con, bro. You better believe there's it's a like porn the, con. It's that. like the dick festival in Japan. I don't like any of this. Can we go to Japan and like participate in that? In the dick fest? Yeah. Not festival, oh, not the dick fest. That's a whole different thing. I don't, I don't think our question mark cocks would be socially acceptable. Yeah, honestly. Listen, it'd be you, they'd treat us like gods over there if they saw that. Honestly, having a question mark dick is kind of nice. You can hook on to another homies. Uh, like, they also have a question mark. I use it to swing from pole to pole. <laughs> I just want to know, I like how almost every single one of her podcasts has went from normal topics to then just talking about dicks and cum. Because it's funny. Listen, it's a two-hour podcast this time. 
if they make it this far, they deserve to hear it. You know, week. I I fucking realized I did I join in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Oh my god, that's amazing. We were, we're just kind of warming up. Yeah, we were. It took slow um, warming up those nuts for me. All right, I got one last topic. Yeah, and then we can close out this podcast and kiss each other goodnight. Um, so have you guys have any, any funny or interesting, like, water park stories? Never been to one. Um, um. Am I the only one that's gonna have a, to- a story for this as well? I mean, I'm trying to, like, remember the last time I went to a water park, because it's been years. It's been a while, for sure. Um, damn, you know what? That just made me think, I want Dippin' Dots, bro. Really? What the fuck? Dippin' Dots? Yeah. Really? really, dude? Yeah. Really just saying re- us re- like that. Re- really blowy, brit bit bit. Broy. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, actually, I just want some ice cream. I haven't had ice cream in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze my nut and make ice cream out of that. God damn it! Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Oh my god! My favorite thing that I've ever heard is there's the one clip of the one girl streamer, and the chat message says. I put sperm in my girlfriend's coffee. I call it an ejaculate. That that's funny, dude. It's absolutely funny, and I yeah. wish I came up with that on my own. But I'm not funny. I'm gay. <laughs> so <laughs> the water slide oh, or the water God. park story that I have happened to me when I was a wee lad, and your dick fell off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Disconnected. Here we go, logo. everybody. My dick fell off when I was at the water park. <laughs> wow. I do not have a dick Ooh. anymore. Anyway. That's why I had to get this question mark, Dick. It was a replacement. Um, I was waiting in line at the water slide because for some reason there was a line for it. It was a busy day. Busy day at the water park. Everyone was there. It was a really hot day. Sweaty. But you're also cold because the water, like, arms are heavy. Water was flowing everywhere. And yeah. Yeah. Got to the top of the slide. It was my turn. But, or no, a second to go. There was this big lady in front of me, yeah. and she went down the slide, yeah. and I was like, oh, I'm just going to sit on the slide and hold on to the top, or to the top of the th- rail there, and wait for them, wait for her to go down. And then your shorts fell off. No, it was nothing even appropriate yeah. like that. Um, Damn. I know, I know, everyone likes to see my pee-pee, but it's okay. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> God damn it. There was a big lady in front of you. Big lady in front of me, around. she's going down, and I sit down on the slide and wait. I'm waiting, and yeah. the lifeguard's like, don't go, because he got nervous that I was just gonna slide down and go right after her. I'm like, no, no, I'm just taking a seat. And then, you know how there's water, like, at the top that, like, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just wa- <laughs> constant water flowing down. And I'm like, I'm just getting pushed away. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to hold on to the top of the bar. I'm like, oh, it's wet, it's slippery, I'm struggling. And then all of a sudden, I lost my grip. And I'm sliding down the slide. I turned back at the lifeguard, put my hands up, like, no! He's Everything like, what are you doing? Hard. It was like a, it was like Titanic scene where the Jack and Nancy is like, don't let go, Jack. And then I'm like, Deuces. that's that. <laughs> yes. You know what would have been and more scary? That's not what? it. That's not, that's not the end of the story, by the way. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, we're like, keep going, keep going. More. So I'm sliding down. I'm like, oh, shit. That guy's going to be real mad at me. I'm, I'm not going to go back up that way. And no, this is why I'm still going down the slide. And the, the lady in front of me, the big lady in front of me, didn't make it all the way into the pool of water at the end. She was stuck on the slide, just like trying to scoot her way to the end. And I see her, I'm oh, like, oh, God. shit. Oh, <laughs> and I no. slam into the back of her. <laughs> <laughs> Full force oh, going, That's- however fast water slides go. You oh, fucking God. took out a fat lady on a water park? I, I, I did. fat lady took out him. He took me out. <laughs> I wasn't hurt or anything, but it was just like a boom. He said boom. That's how you know you gotta go on a diet. If water if water yeah, can't even take you down, <laughs> if gravity don't work, <laughs> oh, <laughs> god damn. I, know was, limit, I was trying to avoid her, too. I was trying to, like, go, like, on the sides, you know? Like, try to, like, momentum myself to, like, I don't know, like, Sonic roll over her. I don't know. <laughs> but no, yeah. in the end, I collided into her. Nice, nice. And then I and, and then, then I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> or I swam away and then ran away. <laughs> <laughs> what? And yeah, that was my wackiest moment at the water park. That's pretty funny. Be... Yeah. You it would have been got, scary got, if the big lady was coming after you. Those slides anymore, huh? No. Yeah, did you learn your lesson? Well, I sure did. We all learn lessons at water parks. Lesson number Brandon one: looks- don't wait in line for a ride. Damn, is that why I haven't learned shit? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. So that's, is that where you learn lessons? I've never been, so I don't learn shit yet. Okay. You're afraid of water, though. Yeah. This falls that mine. 
Yeah. God. It's not his fault he got swept swept out at sea. Dude, it's not my it's also not my fault. I was in a boat that started to sink. Yeah. That's got the ha ha's. Okay, he so drank his last Logan. can of orange juice and that was all he had left. Logan, let's put you in another boat that's about to sink, but this time we rescue you in a better way. No. Unlike that lady that died in the in our in our you know, we will create a chain by resting our pockets together. Wait, what were you saying, Brandon? Did you you some of us know, but the lady that was found in the sound. Yeah. Found in the sound? Yeah, I can't say Yeah, I know. She was her her whole car was in the water and yeah. Uh, that, yeah that, that, what happened recently? Yeah. Yeah, I like learned that was about recent? that like two days ago. Uh, that was yeah, that was like a week ago. Huh. About a week ago. I'm sorry. Okay. Everyone gets one. But yeah, <laughs> lady <laughs> lady drowned in her car because she flew off the road, I guess. I'm not sure about hundred percent of the story, but That's my worst fear is flying off the road. Why I hate driving yeah. on cliffs. That's why I hate Rainbow Road. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Just, sorry. Well that's your fault, Caleb, why you lost, but you know. <laughs> You guys are just bad at Mario Kart, that's all. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna fucking call everyone out like that. I yeah, always bro. will. Rude just ass. I'm getting Mario Kart 8. I've just been playing F-Zero. I think. You think? Yeah. It crazy, right? I mean, sometimes I don't. Dude, whenever, yeah. a, whenever a thought goes into my brain, I get scared because I don't know what it's... it is. All right, okay. I think we can wrap up the podcast for today. Wait. That was pretty freaking good. Wait. Unless anyone else has anything else to left to say. Okay. Any funny topics? Any anything? Okay. So I know this is this exists on the internet, but would you suck ten dicks or suck one dick ten times? That's like the stupid shit of like, would you like suck a dick up to ejaculation or suck it at the end of the eject, like get the ejaculation? I know. That's you're why like, I asked would the worker receive the reward? Yeah. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know, Edgar has a good point there. I just take the reward. I don't have to do all the work. Like, it, uh, there was like, there was debates on it. It's like, I don't want to get, like, I don't want to come in my mouth. I'm going to like suck up to ejaculation. It's like, but what if it's someone that takes like a long time from the build up to that point? Yeah, sometimes it's a trial. Sometimes you just shoot a load that just goes through their head. Sometimes the homies take a long time to do it. Whose dick you suck and that the load goes through your head? They call me the sniper rifle. They call me the cum betweener. Remember, you can't spell advertisement without semen between the tits. We have no sponsor. Hey, I know. What? I wish we had a sponsor. We probably won't. Have you heard us? Yeah. Have you heard me? I heard I like 500 followers on Twitch. You can start getting sponsors. Like Raid Shadow Legends. I Raid Shadow Legends. I can't wait for all my friends to download Raid Shadow Legends. I know. Eventually. What the fuck? You won't? You won't? You won't? You won't? I've don't already played Raid Shadows Shadow Legends. and Legends. I'm good. You just wanted to play the tutorial. I suck your peepee. -pee. I've played past that. Oh, wait, is someone silent? But I've, 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 I've said this. I've already played past the tutorial. Anyway, anything else, boys? Before we wrap it up. All right. That shit is <laughs> That's about where my brain is. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Thank you all for being here again. After years of How suspenseful years waiting, I don't know. Oh, actually, it's been about a year. Yeah. Oh, really? Shit. We do this once a year, and we really need to do more, but we yeah. just don't. All right, Caleb, take a bow. Thank you, Caleb, for being here after 13 episodes. You're welcome, guys. Wait, I know fuck, that you guys that many we've made? Pretty lackluster. Yeah, this is episode so. 13. Holy shit. What? Can you believe it's it? Yeah, I know your show's been pretty lackluster, so I've come on and some fresh air into it. I yeah. can't wow. wait for more funny haha ha topics for the from the boys. And again, thank you guys for watching at home. Thank you for listening for this freaking long podcast. This is a two hour this is the longest podcast yet. <laughs> I don't know how much it's is gonna be hurts. stay in, but this is a lot. I'm sure most of it I don't know. Depends. That's up to you. Or me. I know. Or well I, someone I hire. I won't hire anybody. Fuck you. Um <laughs> Okay. I'll hire anybody. Fuck you. I'll fuck you first before I hire you. You could hire me. You're hired. I'm, you know, you're saying that after Brandon said what he said was kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, you, homie. I said it. I'll fuck you before I hire you. Make sure oh, you, you like me. the video. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goddammit. <laughs> Like the video, comment something down below. We should probably maybe get something down there. I don't know. Like the video, come below. Yes, make sure you come below. <laughs> ring, ring my bell and... Make sure you share the podcast to all your friends and family. Dogs and cats. I, I don't and know. don't forget to subscribe to Honey. Dollar Shave Club. Shut up. Do Dollar Cock Club. You know how many... I would make such good ads if I were actually sponsored. I would try so hard. Okay, Brandon would have a, like, a nut shave. I would go to everyone's house and record a bit and then put it together. <laughs> Again, okay, fuck.
Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. This has been the Water Bottle Podcast. The vending machine is now empty. We will have to restock with more fellas, more boys, more funnies, and more hahas. I don't have any more friends. Uh, yeah, everyone, you everyone, say your goodbyes. Uh, Edgar, go first. Mwah. Logan. Wait, did that not get picked up? Fuck. No, you was kind of silence. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> and Tristan. <laughs> And I've been your host, b 18 Make sure you follow. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, b 18 And follow me on Twitch. I stream whenever, however. It's been growing recently. And yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Time to jerk off. Hell yes, yeah. please. What? <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. I hated how clean that sounded. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs>